apparently we live on a spinning ball. So let's make a model and see what the path of the sun would look like. First, look at this. Okay, so here's the heliocentric model. And uh, here's you uh, standing right here looking this way. Now the sun is 93 million miles away. And because the earth is turning, it, uh, it makes a 93 million mile arc. So this is how the model works. The earth, the earth spins forward and the, and the earth is doing the sun is doing a 93 million mile arc. It always stays 93 million miles away. It never gets closer. So, let me show it to you on our little model. Okay, so here's our globe model. And if you were uh, standing on the United States, you would fall off. So, uh, <laughs> let's lay it down. Alright, so this is how, how it is. Right here, let's lay it down. Okay, there's our sun back there. Now we're laying it down. Now, the, the earth here's straight with the sun right here right but the uh, the earth is is tilted at 23 degrees like this 23.4 depends on summer or winter so if it's straight or tilted the, re the, the seasons change when the sun hits six months later on this side from the other direction so basically it's only going to move 23 degrees in one direction or the other. So the sun is way over there, way over there, 93 million miles away. So let's mount the camera and do a sunset. Okay, here's our sunset. Okay, let's do a slow exposure. Now here's the, what the path of the sun would look like, a big huge arc just like our drawing. Okay, back to the globe. Okay, so it doesn't matter if the globe is tilted towards summertime, if you're in the northern hemisphere, or it's tilted towards wintertime. It doesn't matter where you're standing, if you're standing here or there. Uh, the, the, the sun is 93 million miles away, and it's going to make a big arc. It might come, take off on a different angle, but it still has to make a arc. <laughs> Okay, here's a time lapse of a full day. Let's see how it compares to our model. Okay, let's take another look at it. As the sun is rising, check how it's following this line straight on an angle. Now, when the sun's setting, watch it. Watch it follow this line down. It follows a straight line. Okay, here's the sunrise and the sunset side by side. You can see there's a couple hours missing in the middle, but it shows you what's going on. Does it match our globe model? It should be making an arc like this. But it doesn't. It makes a pyramid. Now why does it make a pyramid? That's because we don't live on a globe. The sun is rising and setting due to perspective. Let me show you how it works. The earth is stationary, and as the, tr as the sun travels across the sky, like in the diagram here, it, it rises in the morning, it comes up, it comes up like a pyramid as it gets closer to you, and then it goes back down like a pyramid straight to the ground until you can't see it anymore, it disappears. And you say it sets, but it actually just disappears. It works just like these telephone poles. The telephone poles are on a flat road, but they, you can see they go on an angle straight down until they disappear, just like the sun. Here's a couple jet trails. I took this picture a couple days ago. The moonlight is lighting them up, and you can see they're going on a straight line towards the ground. That's because the, the planes are getting farther away, and they're crashing to the ground due to perspective. If the planes were flying around a globe, the line wouldn't be straight down, it would be curved like this. But it's not curved like that, because we don't live on a globe. 